Before we run out of time, I'd like to discuss what happened when we were here last week. How's your car? Did you steal my car and have it fixed? We had an agreement, no gifts. I didn't want to see you get robbed. It was you. You had no right to steal my car. I've been scared to death. Why? Why? It's a violation of my privacy. What else have you done? Answer me. I love you. Anthony. I'm in love with you. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. OK, let me talk. No, it's not the Prozac. I dream about you. I think about you all the time. I can't get excited about any other women. There's nothing else to say. I love you. Let me start here. I know this may be very hard for you to swallow, but you're only feeling this way because we've made such progress. What? I've been gentle. That's my job. I listen. That's what I do best. I've been a broad, generic, sympathetic woman to you because that's what this work calls for. You've made me all of the things you feel are missing in your wife and in your mother. <laughs> You're making me out to be some fucking mama's boy. I'm a man. And you're a woman. End of story. And, and this crap about Freud and, and, and uh, every boy wanted to have sex with his mother, that, that's not going to fly here. I didn't say that. I want to make sure we understand each other. Yeah, we understand each other. You don't love me. You don't want me to come back anymore? Fine. It's quite the opposite. This is all a byproduct of progress. Has someone been following me? OK, forget it. I'll see you next week. <laughs>